Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today's video, I'm going to be trying some new stuff. Um, show you a little tiny haul that I got and slap some makeup on my face and I cannot wait. This is gonna be a long one, so grab a snack, grab a drink, grab your makeup bag, let's get ready together. So, the first thing I'm going to be using these uh, glam light brushes that I I did I have uploaded the um, Michaela and glam light two palette. Um, I asked you guys at the unboxing which did y'all want to see first, and that one won by landslide, and I forgot. And I had these pulled out, and I forgot to to um, grab them to use them. So, wow, I was not expecting this. These brushes are huge. I mean, look how long they are. Um, let me grab one I usually use. Okay, this is uh, a Morphe one that I use on every eye look. Look at the difference. <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm super excited about that. I am going to leave you right here because I will use you again. And you know what? Let me go ahead and spray these. And I just use the uh, Cinema Secrets. And it just takes, you know, I'll, I'll show you how I do it. It just kind of. There we go. And it's instant. Um, it has a... When I first started using this, I was like, oh. But it has a distinct, almost like a, a natural vanilla scent. Like, if you took a vanilla bean and scraped it, that's what this smells like. It doesn't smell imitation. But anyway, side note, that's what it smells like. So, let me stick these here. So I don't forget to use them. And I'm going to be trying out the um, Rem Beauty. These are a lip stain marker. I have, I have tested this out. But I'm going to use it again today. And what else new am I... I'm going to be using this Benefit Play Tint. This is a blush that looks like this. Um, and I have, I, I'd had another color in Posy tint, and I don't think I've ever used this on my channel, but I really do enjoy it. So I'm super excited to try this color as well. So we've got the blush. I am going to be trying this palette. I'll be using a shade out of the um, Saints Angel Centers. This is the Water Baby palette, and that's what that looks like. Beautiful and stunning as always. And I, when I went to Walmart with my husband to get the babies their Easter baskets, you know, I said, well, I'm gonna go look over here See if I can find something. So, I had to sneak a few things in the cart. <laughs> he didn't mind. But, I had seen these um, little palettes. I'd seen Tati use them. And, I had seen them on Amazon. And, when I saw them on Amazon for maybe three bucks. And, I'm kicking myself that I didn't get them then. Because, these were $4.99. And um, this is what the Terrific Tulip looks like. And they still have the protective um, shadow shield on them. But that is a glitter. Hold it up a little closer. That's a glitter. And um, Tati really raved about these. So, And when I saw this, it immediately reminded me of a Kaleidos palette that I have. So, I'm, I may put these head-to-head, -to -head too. 
And then I got the Profusion, the Romantic Rose. And I don't know if this was in packing up or um, packing up the, the bags in the cart or if it was broken already, I don't know. I was in a hurry to just kind of grab what I could before he came over and said, you don't need any more makeup. But unfortunately, uh, this one didn't make it and this one got smeared a little bit. I haven't taken the um, protector off. So I'm gonna see if I can re, um, press this one so I'm not going to be uh, utilizing this one today but I did want to show it to you because it was part of my haul and then y'all y'all know I love the I don't know if it's called the blade brow or the brow blade but it's actually called this right here it's called the blade brow and I got mine in the color dark brown. And this has replaced my ColourPop Bangin' Brunette. Okay, that's how much I like this. $1.98. Well, this one, I didn't pay the first bit of attention. I saw, I saw that. And I said, oh, let me, let me grab one of those while I'm right here. Because these aren't at, we have only two super Walmarts close to where I live with, I mean, a whole slew of the little market ones, but they don't have, you know, they don't have a good selection of makeup. Anyway, that's beside the point, I get it home to make sure that I got dark brown in um, this one. And I noticed that this is called the Power Brow. So, I think this has more of, yes, uh, but we're going to give it a whirl. This has more of a thick, thick tip than the other, and it's got, you know, spoolie on the other side, whereas the blade brow has, and it's, but it's not a micro fine, it still has a little bit of a uh, shape to it, but the one I just got has a little bit bigger one. So, you know what? We're going to give it a whirl. Anyway, I mean, if you've been on my channel a long time, you know, I really don't care about my brows. That is the least favorite part of my makeup routine. And some days I don't even fiddle with them. Doesn't bother me. I know a lot of people love to have their their brows perfect and and really done me that that's the one thing i could care less about but and then i think this was the last thing no it's not that i picked up from walmart and this is the these eye lights and this is in the shade dazed and when i first saw that it when it is showing up on um the light. It looked multi-chrome, so I'm I'm hoping it is. Now, I do have one of these already. I have it in the, oh, what, it's a purple shade that is absolutely, let me see if I've already put it up. I have. Anyway, it's a really pretty shade. And the last thing that I got, this was a little bit more expensive is the Profusion Duo Chromatica Multi-Chrome Shifting Pigment and Primer. Comes with the black primer and it comes with two of the um, pots of pigment. I have not opened this yet, but I'm, I've seen a couple of reviews on this and I was like, oh, I really wanna try that. And our Walmart has a very, very small amount of profusion things to choose from. They're mostly the um, the bigger palettes, you know? And so I was super shocked to even find those. And then 
I found that and I was like, oh yes, you are going in my buggy. So let's put that there. But I wanted to do, I, I'm going to pull out this one and use some of these colors in this to kind of go along with this and then to set some stuff with this. So we're just going to do a range of things. But I have moisturized my face and I put on some primer. I used my uh, Too Faced Hangover, which is just about on its last leg. And I don't think I'm going to repurchase. I have repurchased this numerous times in the past when it was on sale. And, you know, I don't think I'm going to do it again. So when it's out, it's out. So, let's go in. I'm going to put a little bit of this e.l.f. on this texture skin right here. Okay. I am back. Got my hair pulled back. I have my um, base on. I just picked up this uh, Pure Lease Ageless Glow Serum BB Cream with an SPF of 40 and mine is in the shade Light Medium. And I really enjoy this a lot. Um, I applied it with my Sigma F80 brush. Yep. And now I am going to take some of the Becca. What's this stuff called? Under eye brightening corrector and and <clears throat> for regular concealer I'm just going to go in with this one this is the um, Florence by Mills is that what it's called yeah the see you never <laughs> concealer It is one of the best banana powders pressed that I have used ever. And it's from Essence, and it's a uh, brighten up, but it's brighten up banana powder. So I'm gonna take that on a brush. I cleaned my brushes, so they are good and clean. So I'm just gonna pop this on my under eye. And then I want to take a little bit and go over my eye to set that primer a little bit. Ah, it's laundry day. My dryer just quit. forgot to even use my puff but that's okay because I, I I really feel like I need to put a little bit more there but I am just gonna go ahead and set my face and I'm just gonna use this Jaclyn Cosmetics Do Me Luminous Powder because y'all know I love the glow so we're going we're gonna set that but first let's put our um cream zone. Now, I've got this e.l.f. that I have, um, I've already used it, and I got it, y'all, that video is going up this week, I promise. Heck of a deal. But they're the, the um, bronzers or the duos that look like that. I got it brand new. Um, oh, shoot. I thought I had even saved the packaging to show y'all. I did. What it looked like. Like that. Anyway. So, I'm going to take a little bit of this 
bronzer, which coincidentally happened to look half-ass decent on my face. So, yay for that. And I'm just going to apply that with, let me apply it with this brush right here. It's a little dense. When I first saw this, I was so intimidated. I was like, mm -mm, this ain't, this ain't going to work for me. But if you put it on ever so carefully, it is beautiful. So, you know, I wiped a lot of it off on my hand. And I don't use much. I just use enough to wear I can create a little bit of a shadow. When I had, when I lost all that weight, my face, you know, I, obviously started drooping more so I have a really weird contour line I guess would be the best way to describe it now I'm just taking and going over what I did just kind of raising it up a little bit And I'll put a little bit right in here. Not much. Okay, I think that's all I'm gonna do with that. Now, let's get into this blush. This blush was given to me Get it to me in friend mail from my very, very, very good friend El Nix. And you guys, if you do not, if you are, if you are not subscribed to him, just click off my video right now and go subscribe to him so you don't forget. He is, I'm way older than he is, <laughs> but I like to call him my uh, my older brother now let's see how do we want to blend this out let's start out with a duo fiber sponge oh that's pretty oh that is very pretty the one that I have that I showed in the beginning and I've been put it away, the applicator looks more like a fingernail brush. I mean, a fingernail polish applicator. This actually is a doe foot. And it is stunning. This color is just beautiful. Wow. I am liking this. Oh, this is going on my desk. Now, let's see. For highlighter, I do have a new highlighter. And it's the Sydney Grace highlighter that I got in my Sydney Grace mystery bag. And it's in the shade Heaven. <laughs> so, let me get a... Freshly cleaned highlighter brush and pop some of this on. Oh, 
Ooh, nice. Nice. This is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I was going to set this blush down because I thought it was going to be more of like a sheer tint. So I was going to set it down. I mean, I had even grabbed my blush palette, which was also a gift from Own Eggs. <laughs> so, but I don't think that mm, my face does feel still um, moist, sticky. I hate that word too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of this luminous powder and get it on this brush, which happens to be a Sydney Grace brush that came into my mystery bag. This mystery bag. And I'm just going to kind of go around the perimeter of my face. Um, I like to... Oh, that was something else. <laughs> I was like, when did this blemish come up? I like to um, do the perimeters just to keep my um, clothes clean so this stuff doesn't transfer to my clothes because it sometimes will. But, and I have this and I don't ever use it. So I am gonna go ahead and put this Rim Beauty or M, ever how you want to say it. Lip liner on, lip stain. I have used this. Y'all, this is the weirdest thing. I mean, it's weird. It looks like that. I mean, it's got a wide tip on it. So, we're going to line and fill in with this. It really does feel like I'm using a magic marker. But it's cold. which is the strangest thing. I'm just gonna fill my lips in. This is a pretty color all on its own. Okay, let's see. So far, initial application, I'm impressed, but the wear time, I I've not been as impressed. Um, just because it seems to wear off and not leave a stain. And I've, and I've tried it with products on top. I've tried it as a, a really a lip liner. I've, you know, and I've tried it with gloss. With gloss, 
it kind of is a given. It doesn't matter what kind of lip liner I wear or lipstick. When I put a gloss on, I mean, it's, it's typically gone. But we're going to, you know, give it a whirl. So, now let's do some eyes. Because this is what I've been waiting for. And... Get her open. This is in the shade Dazed. And again, that's what it looks like. And I'm going to swatch it. These are super tiny, but they're $1.98. I mean, oh wow. That's pretty. It's, it's very pretty. All right. Now, let's close that back up. And let me see. Are there any mattes in this palette? There's not. I wanted to put that shade in the um, Water Baby palette from Sass. And, yeah, I wanted to place that over that, because this is a liquid, you know, and see, kind of set that liquid in, and that shade is Psychic in the um, Water Baby palette. So... Let's start out. <clears throat> Let me take the shadow protector off. Actually, because I want a brown to start off with. I'm going in the um, my Z palette, which has got um, some Loxy Beauty. I can't remember where this one's from. Sydney Grace highlight. That's the highlight I used. And these are some Sydney Grace singles. So I'm going to start with this matte brown. And this is in the shade Together Forever. And I dug my darn hand into these two they're very soft the loxy beauties are very 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 soft okay let's see what we can do i am going to use my shadow shield that i have not brought out in a long time y'all <laughs> but i've done my base so Okay, so I've got that brown down. Now, I'll put you up. Thank you so much. Now, I'm going to go into these shades. So, I'm going to take this long brush, and I'm going to go in with, hmm, blend that a little bit better. I'm going to go in with the shade Deep Love, which is this one. And I'm just going to work that right over that brown that I put in. A four brush, and I'm going to dip into this purple. Let me just swatch them. Okay, so those are um, 
other stuff I've already swatched. <laughs> so, there is the shimmer. There's the pink. There's the orange. And there's that purple that I used. So, um, you know, when you open the palette, it doesn't look like much. Um, you, you, have, you do have the tiniest mirror, <laughs> that little mirror right there. But, you know, on the go, you only need something this small to do an eye, so it kind of makes sense. <laughs> now, let me swatch this glitter. Ooh, oh, wow. That, hello. <sighs> hello, hello. That swatched freaking beautiful. And it came off on my hand. Okay, maybe we're not going to need this. But, ooh, but that purple and, oh my gosh. You know what? We're, we're just going, we're going with it, honey. We're going to go with it. So, what I'm going to do with this and how I found how the, the way that they apply really well is to just put them on my hand like that and just work off my hand. And I'm going to use, I'm actually not going to use a Michaela brush for this. I'm going to use this brush by BH Cosmetics. It's a little smaller. So I'm just going to go in, get a little bit up there and I'm going to cover my entire eye with this. And from what I remember the on the last color, which was a purple the more you layer it, the more intense it gets. Okay, that's pretty. Now, I'm going to do this other eye, and it's going to transfer. I mean, uh, that that's just the nature of how my eyes are. I think I'm going to use the glitter in there as well as this. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. No. I'm just going to use this. Oh, no. Let me get a smaller brush. A much smaller brush. Okay. And I'm not going to lay glitter glue down because I'm hoping that it'll stick to... Oh, wow. Well. Mm. What do I want to put? I'm going to put this sort of at the front. And while I think glitter is beautiful on people. It has never done me any favors. But I am definitely giving this a whirl. Let me try this with my finger. Sponge tip would have been better, but forget. Okay. I want to kind of spread that out a little bit. Okay. So, this is what the eyes look like without the, the just using this palette and um this shadow yes i know they're shawl out <laughs> now i'm going to 
dip into this baby. And I'm going in with the shade Psychic. <clears throat> and let's see, I'm just, no, I'm going to use a, this brush right here. <laughs> My stomach is like talking to me. And I'm just going to use the same brush that I applied that first um, liquid with. And, yep, this just takes it to the next level. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That glitter's pretty, but... It could be prettier. We're gonna dip in one of these. And I'm gonna dip into this purple right here, which is a Loxy Beauty Star Loxy Beauty Star. Loxy Beauty um multi chrome, and this is in the shade Duper Star. And let me swatch that for you guys. It is this purple right there. And I'm going to put a little bit of this on, but I'm going to tap it over that glitter. I need to get my brush wet. Actually, I need to use my finger. I think the glitter is still going to shine, but maybe I've got this shadow over top of it so it won't flake so bad. This shade doesn't seem to be performing very well and I don't know if it's it's not dried out I just got these not long ago let me wet it covered up most of the purple but I have a fix for that too I'm pulling out my Cupid's air Cupid's arrow <laughs> and I'm going to go into Romeo let's see if this one's the one showing up purple I'm going in with Romeo. Romeo, I have hit pan and I try to use it as little as possible because it is one of my absolute favorite shades. This is one of my absolute favorite palettes, period, from Sass. <clears throat> And I may be a little bit biased because um, it was the first one she had sent me. So, but I use this all the time, on camera, off camera. Okay. Well, we got some sparkles. We got some shine. We got some shifty shadows. Now, with a little bit of fallout, not much, but, you know, 
you you have to expect fallout a little bit. And I'm just gonna take what's left on this brush. A little blue and purple left up here. So go under my eyes and then I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that pink because I haven't I didn't use that pink. I'm gonna use that pink to sweep underneath the lower lash line. Oh. It looks pink, but it kind of pulls lavender a little bit. And for the inner corner, we're just going to go in with that shimmery shade right there. It's more of a, I would say, a satin, almost frost. And Okay, I'm going to do my brows, and I will be right back. All righty, guys. Got these brows on. We're not going to talk about it. Um, <clears throat> but I did want to go ahead and set my face. And I'm using this Ofra makeup fixer. I do have a code with Ofra. And it is in the description box. You can save some coins and if you use my affiliate link then you save a little money i make a little money it's a win-win for all however feel free to use anybody else's code we're we're here to help support um so there's that <laughs> but i did want to i have used this before in the past and ended up giving it to my mom but I want to go ahead and spray my face and then um, do two more things to my eyes. From what I remember, yeah, this does have a pretty aggressive sprayer. It's very nice. It has a very pleasant scent. It's not overpowering at all, but it does have a scent. So, um, and it, it's a huge bottle. I think, it, what is this? Yeah, this is an eight ounce bottle of setting spray. Um, so yeah, that's a lot. Now, the last thing I wanted to do to my eyes were, I want to put this silver eyeliner in my eyes. And this is by Sleek Cosmetics Life Proof. And when I tell y'all, this is the best eyeliner that I've used I'm not exaggerating at all. I love this eyeliner. It just opens my eyes so much. It doesn't matter what color I use up here. This widens my eyes. I mean, <clears throat> can you see the difference already? Maybe not, because I didn't bring it down a little bit. And... Don't do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Now, to, to check on the lips, um, they, uh, 
it, it it's now a lip liner look. You know, before I filled it in, you know, but now that has faded in just this short amount of time. And um, now this just looks like a regular lip liner. So I'm going in with this lipstick from Glamlight. And it's just called Zoinks Lipstick. It is was part of the Scooby-Doo collection glam light did and i absolutely love this color i do want to put a little bit of the um, banana in my corner of my eyes. So I'm just gonna use this puff and get a little bit up there. And just kinda, and hopefully cover <laughs> some of that glitter that fell. <laughs> I just like to kind of put it in the corner and then just kind of go down my nose a little bit. And I'm gonna get my forehead a little bit. I see some shine. Okay, that's it. That is the completed look. Let me get closer so you guys can see. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You guys enjoyed seeing me playing with some new stuff. Um, some very, very, very affordable um, stuff. I, absolutely. Um, so... Let me know in the comments what was your favorite thing about today's video. The, today, the, the product that I used. Was it the setting spray? Was it the lipstick? Was it the palette? This palette. This palette. This palette. Or the Sydney Grace highlighter. Um, or the foundation foundation um or the brows either way leave me a comment make sure you do all the youtube -y things give this video a like or dislike i love to read constructive criticism i have no problem with that so be beautiful be kind and i'll see you in my next video bye guys